So my final year project was done in a group. There were three robotics students and one electronic student and we've de designed something called the Wearable Enhanced Awareness System. The idea of this system is that you can be, for example, walking down the street alone at night and using radar and lidar technology, it will detect if there's, for example, another human approaching you or a bicycle or something like that. And the aim is to help reduce um, knife crime, muggings, accidents, these kinds of things, and help the general public. Every aspect has been really interesting along the way. There's the initial design, the specification, finding out what we need it to do and how we're going to do that. For example, we did lots of um, breadboard electronics, so just planning out the circuitry, having a go, seeing what works, and then after it works you can uh, make a PCB design, have that produced, then have a final working product. I think robotics is quite difficult to describe because I think lots of people have a different understanding of it. If you ask the average person, they'd probably immediately think of a humanoid robot, think of uh, sort of sci-fi films, things like iRobot, but robotics is actually a lot more than that. Humanoid robotics is a large portion, but a lot of the time it's about solving real-world problems and this doesn't have to be through anything humanoid or otherwise animal-like. So. There's a lot of a focus on uh, sensing and uh, using data, uh, software and hardware mixture, a little bit of sort of mechanical aspect and basically building something um, that can bring lots of aspects together and help solve a problem. Robotics and electronics slightly cross over um, on the way, so we often have lectures together, we spend all our time in the same labs. So to be completely honest, I occasionally forget who's on robotics and who's on electronics. So when it came to the master's year, it was brilliant to find out that we could all work together and, and have collaboration between the two courses. And it was really beneficial because obviously electronics and robotics students have slightly different um, advantages and, and sort of skills. So it meant that, you know, we could bring in more of the, for example, the CAD work aspect, whereas electronics students can bring more knowledge about more in-depth electronics, such as like power electronics and things like this. So it meant that between the two courses you can achieve something more with the more skills you have together. Advice I'd give is just to enjoy what you do, I guess. Um, I, to be honest, one of my first influences was that I loved watching Robot Wars. And, you know, some people might think that that's a bit embarrassing or a bit nerdy, but just embrace it. Just love what you do, love all the nerdy aspects, and um, don't be disheartened if you get stuck in first year. I thought I was doing horribly at the beginning, but gets easier in a sense, you, you know, you learn how to study effectively and as you find more friends you can study together and uh, you can overcome all those things and there's, there's a, a lot of support for if you are finding it difficult so you just power through.